What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today is a beautiful Friday and before we actually kick start into today's video, your boy's gonna go get some McDonald's because he is hungry. All right, so we just secured our spot in line. Time to order up the Big Macs. God, I love when old people look at my car in awe like it's some sort of Porsche or something. Like, they have no idea what this car is. There's a big old Nissan logo on the front though, so that's on them. Dude. Bag secured. All right, so we're officially on our way home now. Once we get there, we're gonna grub and then we're gonna actually get into what is going down in this video. So I will see you guys when we get there. There she is in all her glory. Before I get to the five things I don't like about 350Zs, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. Let's get to it. So the first one doesn't affect me directly because I have an 07 model, but this goes out to my 03 to 06 DE owners. And uh, I feel bad for you guys because that dipstick is notoriously awful to get out. It's all, it's just all bent and like, it's all the way in an awkward spot in the corner of the car and everything. The, the HRs are just right here in the front. It makes it super easy, but the DEs, yikes. And on top of the DE one as well, it's gonna have to go to the front two cylinders, uh, not having enough airflow, causing oil to burn in the DE engines. Number two is gonna have to go to the trunk. Not the trunk specifically, but the struts for the trunk. As you can see, um, they don't hold it up very well. Those tend to go out so much on Zs, and it's actually awful. I literally have to use sticks to hold my trunk open. And if you guys have any aftermarket wing on your car that's even slightly heavier than just like a regular duck bill, it's just gonna fall every time. Number three is gonna have to go to my good old control arms, the front ones. Now, I don't know if this is just my car, but I have had to replace my front control arms, upper and lower, twice already. And I've, I've only had this car for about two and a half years at this point, and I've had to do it twice. I know that it's something that wears and tears. I ended up getting aftermarket upper control arms, that way I don't have to worry about those. I can just replace the bushings on those. But I don't know what about the bottom ones, they just keep going out on me. This might be just me. This might be with every Z, I don't know, but I just have awful luck with them. Number four is gonna have to go to the doors not staying open for the life of themselves. No matter what, every time you have to get in your car, you better get in pretty damn quick or else your leg is just gonna get absolutely squished in between the door frame and the door. Weirdly enough, my passenger door actually stays open majority of the time, but I think it's because it's broken. Because every time you open it, all you hear is <coughs> But yeah, I don't know if the door needs WD-40 or what, but it's been making that noise for the entire two and a half years I've had it, and I still have yet to figure out what problem it is. But regardless, that leaves us to number five, and don't worry, I saved the one I hate the most for last. Let's go ahead and get back inside the car. And this right here is the fifth one. Here's one piece of my interior. Here's two pieces of my interior. That vent is broken. All of this is chipping off. Oh, you guys can't see it. All of this is chipping off, leaving residue and stuff behind. The interior of the 350Zs fall apart like no other car I've ever been in. Like this right here is the center console little like door that's supposed to go up. And instead, since it came off, I just put a little Apple CarPlay screen on there. Good fit, by the way. But that does bring us to the end of this video. If you guys are interested in seeing if the 350Z is a good first car to own, I have a video right here for you guys.